I'm Gabby. And I'm Luke. And welcome to LGTV. So today we are doing just our little rendition of the chicken shop date so that you guys can get to know us and just see what our channel is kind of like. We we're gonna let anything. you know what the food's saying. And then we're gonna talk about our channel, what we're gonna be posting. And then we're gonna ask each other questions. Like I'll interview Luke and then he'll interview me and then period. And you guys will get to know us a little bit and then from that on we'll post other content. Honestly Morley's is so blessed. Like I had it for the first time. Um, I had it for the first time when I came in September. And every time I come now, I get Morley's because it's just it's just possible. Like better than KFC, better than Popeyes, better than like any chicken shop in America, you get me? Yeah, come here. They're not giving. They're, they're not giving, they're not giving. We did it, we got We done it. We got the got the morleys, got the morleys. We got the chicken. I'm trying at the chicken burger for the first time. Mm. That's really good. It's possible. As per usual. It kinda reminds me of the Mc it kinda reminds me of the McDonald's one. The McDonald's chicken sandwich a little bit. Guys, subscribe and follow us on our journey as a long distance couple. Get closer and try to close that gap and just build a life together, you know? I'm 21. I'm 23. I'm from, I say I'm from London, people don't know, but I'm just outside of London in a place called Penn. I'm from Florida. <laughs> I'm from Florida and I'm now I live in Los Angeles. We're a long distance couple. <laughs> we are long distance, guys. We've been long distance since, well, since we met and that's the next thing. We met on Minecraft, guys. Minecraft, 2015. We met on Minecraft. 2014 we were, settings. When I was 14, he was. Yeah, I was 15. Turning 16. I was 15. That's what turning 16 is, babe. I actually turned 15. <laughs> I was turning 16. Mm -hmm. We dated online, and I first we we never met in person after dating online for two years, and then finally, I came to London last year. Well, now it's she two came years for ago. me. She came for me. You know, I'm joking. September, she came for a brand deal for GHG. Yeah, yeah. in September 2021, right? Yeah, I think it was 2021. Yeah, yeah 2021. it's 2023 now, but 2021. Um, I came over here for a brand deal, and we yeah. met in person, yeah. and we've been together ever since. We've been together ever since. Yeah. So if you add all the years together, that's like four years. Mm -hmm. so. We started this YouTube channel so that we can we we see each other a lot, and a lot of effort goes into everything we kind of do as a couple. When we fly back and forth, I feel like we do so much and like we, I'm a full-time content creator already, that's my job. Luke is a, he does, he works in construction over here in, in London, but my full-time job is content creation. So I check out my other socials if you haven't seen them. We really just want to share our couple's content as well, like stuff that like we want to do together, do challenges. That's why we want to start the channel and share <laughs> kind of what goes, behind, goes on behind the scenes. Every time I have a little surprise or like I'm planning something, I'm like, I'll make a little vlog. And then obviously, we're going to see each other in person and film your reaction, man. Content wise, we're going to be doing challenges, um, vlogs, we're going to be just doing story times, we're going to be answering you guys' questions. We're going to be doing a lot of travel this year, probably around September time. So it's going to be a lot of have, travel content on it. We have a lot of big things planned for this <laughs> year. Last year, we did a lot. Anyways, we traveled all the time. We saw each other like almost every other month, our first year dating. We went to Jamaica, we went to. Barcelona, Monaco, um, Italy. We went on two cruises together. Yeah. yeah, we did a lot. We did a lot. He's already coming to see me next month because right now it's February and we just celebrated right, uh, Valentine's Day in Iceland. But now we're going to go to... Luke is meeting me. Luke is meeting me. I'm not going to say what we're doing well, what until we get there. Listen, you guys are going to see what we're doing. Mm -hmm. It's going to be a lot of fun. But I can tell you what we are going to do. Just before we do what we're going to do, we're going to go to Universal. And this girl thinks I'm a Hufflepuff, but I'm a Gryffindor for real. Like, we've already had this discussion. She's a Hufflepuff, I ain't a Hufflepuff. But we're gonna go to Universal, Harry Potter World, and immerse ourselves into the world. Listen, five more months of this long distance thing. Subscribe and watch the tea. I'm telling you now, subscribe and watch the tea. My question to you, what's the favorite trip? That we ever been on to Barcelona, uh, the cruise from Barcelona. We've been all the way around the Mediterranean with you. It was so much fun. The cruise part was fun. What's your favorite memory with me? Mm. Too many, that's why I should take it longer. One of my favorite memories was definitely on the vacation that we went on with the cruise he's talking about in Barcelona. I love that entire cruise, like genuinely. Like that cruise was amazing, but one of my favorite memories is probably when we were in. 
that was like beautiful and like I just love the entire day us going around there together and like being in Europe together like somewhere other than London was so just different for me and like it was amazing I love that how I think about our relationship is by every trip but we talk on the phone like literally 25 days but in the in-between it's like every trip planned is kind of how I process stuff it's like we're together for like two weeks or a month at a time and like each trip it's always great. Like we do so much every trip and like every month because we're just so excited to be around each other again in person. My favorite period together so far is when we were together in November for our anniversary. I really liked oh, everything we were really kind of doing. Like, I loved our anniversary. I loved Joshua Tree. That was really that's probably one of my favorite memories too. We did Joshua Tree, went to the desert. I'm gonna say that's my answer. My answer is Joshua Tree. I got an Airbnb for our anniversary because we decided to let each other plan one day for our anniversary. So I planned to take us like two hours away into the desert into an Airbnb with my dog. And we just like made food and like went in a hot tub. Yeah, and we saw the stars. We saw the stars, like we saw all the stars in the sky, like because it was dark. It was beautiful. Love that. That's my favorite. How do you plan to close the gap? And why? Well, see, for I've got to move there, what she's got to move here is as simple as that. So, I don't think that's really in my hands right now. Um, if I have to move, I'll move. How do you want to move? I do want to move to move. But in regards to England, right now, Gabby told me that she wants to move here to travel Europe and the rest of the world. Oh, yeah. England, because it's really easy to travel from England. Yeah, so, my question is going to be, do you think our long distance relationship is different over the phone or in person? I think your relationship's tested more. Because when you're in long distance, you just have that independence still. And like doing what you want to do all day. We have a big time difference as well. So he goes to work. I do whatever I need to do in LA. I work on myself. He works on himself. But when we're together, not only does one of us have to like be out of our element and not be able to do what we're used to and be out of our comfort zone, but also we both change our schedule to be around each other, which is abnormal because like in a normal relationship where you're in the same place, you don't, normally you don't do that. You know, you can go about your life and see your boyfriend at night, but that's like when you go to fly somewhere to see your partner, like your entire week or two weeks and their entire week or two weeks is about each other. Um, just to, just adding on that, um, yeah, this, that's why we kind of wait for September, you get me? So like, it's going to be very different. So we can build our own life in the same very place, different. whether we live together or don't live together or anything like that. Closing the flight distance is important. 100%. Time difference, flat difference, everything. What has it been like learning to make content? There's a lot that goes on behind the scenes that you guys don't see just to entertain you guys. The thought processes, physical processes, all that work that goes into just releasing that video you guys have no idea about. So big up yourself, you know what I'm saying? Like, the big up you because Luke went from being like the most camera shy human on the planet to being sitting here right now and like being okay with being on camera because like literally when I first met Luke, like online, he barely even used to FaceTime me. Like he was so camera shy. She was dating her voice. Yeah, I was dating like his personality because he never would show me his face online ever. Like it would be such a big deal. I have to beg him and be like, please, 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 and he turn off his camera as soon as he got uncomfortable, like ASAP. Even when I met him in September, he was the same way. You gotta keep him interested though. Nah, no, I didn't do it for that reason. I was <laughs> camera shy. I was camera shy. The day before she came to London for the first time, um, her god sister Ariana, big up Ariana. I met her and I really was so concerned that he was a catfish because when I used to date him when he was a kid, I saw what he looked like, but he completely changed. So like I can literally, I'm gonna, I would insert a picture of it. Look, get mad. Insert a picture of of what he looked like when I was dating him. He, he really matured, and I could tell on his Instagram. But he like after I rekindled with our relationship, like he wouldn't show me his face anymore. Like he literally refused to show me his face on FaceTime until I met him in person. He, he thought it was some like I don't know, like how to keep me on my toes or some shit. Like I don't know, it was weird. Mm -hmm. Yes, babe. Well done. Yeah, he didn't show me his face, so I sent my god sister out to scout him and see if he was a catfish or not. And he wasn't. <laughs> I wasn't a catfish. Guys. And even when after she met him, she he told her not to take a picture. What did she do? Like. She, she snuck a picture. Straight away. She snapped. She snapped. Straight away. But anyway, she was happy with the results. You get me? All these pictures you see on Gabby's Instagram. Yes, that's me behind the camera, man. That's me behind the camera. Man. Mm -hmm. Luke also really learned to help me create content. He really picked it up and figured it out in like a year. Yeah. Like became comfortable on camera and figured out like his angles and like what he wanted his videos to look like and started like mentally creating content in his head. Luke snapped y'all. 
And I'm like, that's how he's ready to do YouTube. Who knows? This channel might blow past your thing. Who knows? No, I'm serious. Look no, at, I'm serious. Look, I'm serious. Look, at, look at Ashley and Marco. We've got friends called Ashley and Marco. Oh. We're so inspired by them because they really. Like, we met them in New York Fashion Week and Marco has just been giving me lots of advice on like, TikTok and stuff, like just based on content, posting, creation, and just their journey. And they posted about a lot about their journey too, which is like, quite good. And our old neighbors too, Montana and Ryan. I saw their work ethic and how much they post, how fast they edit, like all of that stuff that really, really inspired me as well. My heart and soul, Natalie and Easy, love them. They were my old neighbors in my old apartment in LA, my first apartment. They're also an amazing YouTube couple and they post so much and they put so much work into it. So like, I know how much goes into it and like, we're ready to like, you know. My last question to you is actually, it's t like, look, look at the camera, like, it's, it's t like, anyway, so the last question is, how do you feel about all the negative slash controversial comments that sometimes we get? Okay, so for me, I had to ask it then. I, I was in a, <laughs> I was in a social media relationship before this relationship. I feel like a lot of people are like dreading me making a YouTube account with Luke because they think it's gonna be the same energy where we don't work out and stuff like that. From the day I sh I showed people Luke social media on social media, people have been giving negative opinions about like our relationship, saying it's not gonna work, saying it's fake, saying it's moving on too fast, like da 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 da. I had that whole summer to myself. I was completely single and I was not even thinking. I was dreading, like, I was running from relationships. Even when I met Luke, I was slightly like. And that's why it's a flex, man, because how can I pull? You thought you ate. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? I, I was about to, you know what I'm saying? I was gonna, you know what I'm saying? I wasn't ready for a relationship when I met Luke, but I knew I wanted to meet him in person because I was in London. Like, this was my first time here and like I had dated you for two years and never met him in person. I was like, I wanna meet him. And I did. The last two cents about it, everybody still says I have a type because Luke, it looks, uh, semi listen, Luke looks ever I've, so I've, slightly I've been, similar. I've been compared to everybody on time. Eight different people. Like, I've been counting. Yeah, but everybody it's wants crazy. to say I have a type, but honestly, first of all, not to be like that, I met Luke first. I met Luke when I was a kid. So if anything, like Luke set the, set the standard with my type. But anyway, that is that is it. Yeah. I'm gonna finish this way. And then I hope you enjoyed the beginning of our channel <laughs> let us know if you have any video ideas for us off rip like stuff you want to see us do that we can just sit down and do what's our first target for subscribers uh 1000 subscribers guys tell a friend to tell a friend send it to your brethren send it to, send it to your people <laughs> send it to your friends i love you guys if you came from my channel thank you for supporting me on another channel and thank you for supporting my relationship it means a lot if you're brand new and you've never known either one of us you've never seen our face welcome well, nice well. to meet you I don't know what else to say. <laughs> okay. I've done it. Do our handshake. That, our hand, this we'll is do our handshake. Our handshake and then we'll. Oh, bam. Go to the camera. Go to the camera. Whoa.